What is up, YouTube? Welcome to my first vlog of my channel. It's called Work, and exactly what it is, I'm gonna showcase to you sort of um, day in the life, sort of weekly or whatever, updates of what I do and all the work that I put in. And that goes for all things for cooking, for food, all things for health and fitness, and all things for, you know, my lifestyle, my life, business, entrepreneurship, all that kind of stuff. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're new to me, what's up? Um, I'm Wallace. And if you're not new to me, good to see you guys. So yeah, um, I've had this channel for the longest time, but I've never done a vlog because I just never had the time, nor did I feel like I was ever good enough to vlog or that I was interesting enough to vlog. But honestly, with like COVID and I've become way more self-aware as a person um, the last couple of years that I'm like, I don't care. I'm just going to do it because I want to do it. Plus, I want to share with people. Um, and it's cool and it's cool and it's fun. And honestly, when it comes to maybe say like fitness per se, this is also going to help me to stay accountable. So yeah, welcome to the vlog. All right, guys. So let's talk about what this vlog is going to be about, specifically why I started it today. Um, so today is July 2nd. Um, yesterday was Canada Day. And I thought it would be the perfect time to start a whole new fitness journey. And uh, for me, I used to compete for bodybuilding for Canada, um, you know, compete at the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic, the Arnold Classic, did that, did the North Americans for both bodybuilding and classic physique. So um, my last shows hasn't been for about almost two years, 2016, 2017. And the reason was because I was just busy. I was just busy going into um, building my career and trying to really launch Six Pack Chef. And what also was happening was I was trying to recomp from my season of competing where I did six shows and that, that just took a toll on my body. But anyways, so got back into shape, all this kind of stuff, and it was cool. And for me, being in shape is important now because not just in general, but my brand Six Pack Chef. I can't walk around and not have at least somewhat of a six pack. I don't have to be shredded, but I want to be marketable. I'll be, I want to represent the brand properly and I want to be legitimate. So um, pretty much what happened was pre-COVID, I was doing pretty, I was doing really good. I was in a really good shape. Uh, but just, I just came off of Top Chef Canada. So I really want to stay marketable and stay in shape um, for anything that was happening. And then um, COVID happened and now I didn't get any gyms, right? So I, I rent the place that I rent and I didn't want to build a whole gym and I didn't know how long it was going to take. So I'm like, you know, it'll be okay. I'm just going to focus on diet, do my cardio. And then I got some 10 pound dumbbells and that was it. Um, it went great. It was great for the beginning for about like, 50 days, like two months, I was doing well. You know, cardio, diet was good, doing intermittent fasting, um, did some buckle, uh, full body workouts, all of that. But what happened was my body was taking a toll from my mental and physical side in regards to building my brand and building Six Pack Chef because I was pushing content out like a madman. I found this groove. I started doing things that, um, I never had time to do and now I did because of quarantine. I was just going at it, you know? So I have my uh, What's Cooking TV series, IGTV series on my gram. I did over 50 episodes on that. Go check that out if you guys want. Um, I got onto TikTok and really pushed TikTok. I was doing like five to eight episodes, uh, episodes, five to eight pieces of content a day. And I was growing that, go check that out also. Um, and then being able to just take content of those IG what cook, what's cooking series, um, learning about food photography and taking food photography for those things. All this stuff got to a point where I was getting burnt out and I didn't really notice it because I felt like I was in such a groove. I had so much momentum. I needed to constantly push and do better and grow. Um, but I saw it happening in about two weeks before July 1st, about that time because I couldn't sleep. For two weeks, I consistently had about four hours of sleep on the daily because I just was, my brain would not shut off. I would be thinking of how to make this piece of content, how to, you know, how to, how can I uh, take take this idea and put it into, uh, into, into reality? What kind of recipe can I make? All these kind of things. And I would wake up in the middle of the night and shoot like, uh, you know, a TikTok video or edit a photo, et cetera. So, I was horrible. It was, it sucked, but I kept on going and my body took a toll hard. Cortisol happened. Um, I was super anxious. 
my I tried to car I tried to do cardio, I tried to work on it and just I put it on so tired, so beat. And I saw it in my body and I saw it because I was starting to get flabby. For people who compete enough or are very in, um, you know, innate with their body, whenever you start seeing stress and cortisol and all that kind of stuff, your body starts wanting to hold water, it just starts getting fat and flabby. Um, without you even trying to do anything or eating anything weird. So I started getting, I hated it. I hated it. So me being the so extreme, what I ended up doing was I would start pushing my intermittent fasting from like, you know, 18, six. So fasting for 18 hours and then eating for six to then like 24 and then to freaking 22 too. And then there'd be days where I just not eat and then wait for the next day. And that just didn't help at all. And then it got to a point where I started binge eating. So I binged eat one time. I ate like four liters of frozen yogurt, had like a bunch of, bunch of chips and Oreos, things that I would never want. And these are, were all signs of cortisol and lack of sleep. Uh, you can ask anybody, um, any good coach or any fitness or nutritionist, they'll tell you that. Because once those things start happening, um, you've got a chemical in your camera, what's called starts with a G. Um, John Meadows talks about it, but that makes you want to eat sugary stuff and crave all those kind of things. And that's exactly what happened. And long story short, I was losing weight, gaining, getting fat, not sleeping. It was also um, affecting my content. It was affecting my content. It was affecting my uh, mental state. It was affecting me being happy and wanting to make amazing things um, for for the people that follow me on all my gram and all my social stuff. And just in general with like relationships with whether um, people I connect with, my family, my girlfriend, all that. So I was like, I need to stop this. I need to stop this, get this you know, just take a break and figure it out. So I got that happening. And that's where we are today where I'm like, I am going to start a whole new fitness journey. But yeah, it was a massive rant. But that's pretty much what's been happening for me since COVID. Yeah, and all this stuff happened. I always look to people for advice and um, try to get help and someone that I looked up to because he's very scientific, but he's also very basic and he doesn't, you know, no fuss or anything like that um, in the industry is John Meadows. So I sort of reached out to him. Um, I'm not coached by him or anything like that, but I just asked him because he's very open and he's very willing to help, which is something that I really, really enjoyed. And I just sort of messaged him and been like, hey, John, um, sort of this is what's happening. Um, what do you suggest? And or do you think you can help me? And he sort of helped me, um, gave me this direction of a whole body recomp sort of, um, if you will, not really a diet, but sort of a structure to follow for about two weeks or so. So I'm starting that. And that's what I'm gonna be starting. I'll show you guys. But before that, uh, I need to show you guys my current physique, my current physique, my current weight. So I'm gonna post that now. I took it yesterday, so check it out. All right, guys, it is Canada Day. July 1st, 2020, it is unofficially, officially day one of sort of this fitness journey that I'm gonna put myself through to try to just get back into um, into routine, into shape, into sort of a happy state with myself on a physical and hopefully then a mental uh, aspect. Now, with that being said, I haven't weighed myself in forever. The last time I weighed myself was when I competed, which was like 2016, 2017. Um, I usually don't weigh myself on a regular basis just because I think looking at numbers always screws you up mentally. People get too caught up in that. I look at myself um, from sort of visually and sort of gauge there. But because I need to calculate my macros and all that kind of stuff, I need to wait. So um, just woke up, haven't had anything to drink, haven't had anything to eat. So I'm pretty fasted. Just got a light shirt on, um, some shorts. So we are going to weigh ourselves. So let's do it. It's probably gonna be something super low. Not even surprised, to be honest. There you go, 123. All right, so not impressive whatsoever. And to be honest, I think the last time I was at 123 pounds um, was like six years ago, six or seven years ago when I was competing. That was my stage weight. But anyways, 123 pounds, July 1st, day one, let's go.
All right, guys, so as you saw that I'm not the biggest guy at all. I'm very, very small, um, which kind of sucks. I lost a lot of muscle, a lot of mass, but I'll get it back. I have no problem with that. I just patient. So that's there. Um, yeah, so that's what that's what I look like. That's currently what I look like, and I want to get better. I want to just you know recomp, get my diet going better, get back into routine. I also want to you know fill up my body a bit more, get some more muscle mass back into it, round out some things. I want to be able to fit into shirts, you know. So um, with that being said, I'm gonna show you sort of my calculations on how to get to where it is and sort of what um, the diet that John's helped me structure and where I'm at for it. So let's check it out. Um, so here we go. All right, old school version. I wrote this down. I will uh, post this up closer into the video, uh, on top of the video, hopefully I'll learn how to do that. But here, so this is it. And I'll sort of go through with it uh, right now. So first things first is, so my current weight right now is 123 pounds. 123 pounds. And in order for me to find my uh, maintenance calories, you have multipliers. So preface, I also, uh, while I was competing, I have done personal training. I've also uh, trained some clients for lifestyle, etc. So I know what I'm talking about to a decent enough, um, to a decent enough level. So anyways, my, my weight is 123 pounds and my multiplier that I'm gonna use to figure out my calories is gonna be either 10, 13, or 16. So 10 is usually sometimes really kind of low. Um, and for me, I'm at 123 pounds at 1,230 calories. That's really too low to have as a maintenance calorie. You're gonna try to do any sort of like changes or um, dieting or et cetera like that. You have no wiggle room whatsoever. So 10, not gonna be using 10. 13 is usually what I, uh, what I usually put people in because it's nice and sort of reserved, but it's right there and we can always add them back. So for me, 123 pounds at 13 is 15.99. So um, 15.99, it's still not that great in regards to a calorie standpoint to be at if I wanted to um, maybe, you know, diet down a little bit more if I need to or upgrade. So I am actually gonna go with something that um, a lot of people do follow, and even John suggests too, is 16. So a multiplier of 16 at 123 will give me 19,068 calories. That's pretty good um, in regards to a base of, I have enough calories that I can you know, add, remove, work, bring back, increase, decrease. So that's gonna be my multiplier. Now in terms of the body recomp that John sort of suggested is that he said he's pretty much like saying that you know look you what you've been doing is you've been going on almost like what a competitor would for a post-show binge you've been dieting for so long you got all this stress and everything and you're just letting it all go um so if you just follow these kind of things get back into it you already know what you've done you've done this before um so you'll get right back to it so what he suggested is for you know for about, he suggests for a week. I'm gonna to try to do it for two weeks just because I know for myself I'm not gonna be able to go crazy and I wanna do it for probably two weeks. So it's an hour of cardio a day, drink seven liters of water, which I need to work on, and then train five days a week. And then in terms of our diet, he suggests that I'm trying to um, spread out between four to five meals. And because my schedule, I've got so many things going on that I'm gonna to try to fit those into four, five, maybe five, six, but it's 100 grams of carbs, 200 grams of protein, and 80 grams of fat. So as you can tell, that is actually a very high diet, uh, high protein diet where the, ca uh, the carbs are not that high also, and then the fats are pretty high. So it's a very much more leaner diet, if you will. So that's the body recomp. Now I'm gonna go right into how I'm gonna try to figure out the maintenance. So my goal first is to get into the body recomp and to be able to get into that calorie state. And then from there, go into the maintenance that I would for in general, if I was to do my own diet or a client's diet. So let's talk about my maintenance calories here. So uh, 123 pounds times that by 16, which is our multiplier, that gives us our calories of 1968. So we are gonna go with one, uh, we're gonna go one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I'm gonna do 123 uh, grams of protein times that by four calories. So every gram of protein has four calories. So I'm gonna get 492 calories for my protein. 
Then I'm gonna take my fat and I'm gonna go 123, gram, uh, 123 pounds times that by 0.4, which that gives me then 49.2 grams of fat. Now I'm gonna times that by nine calories because each gram of fat has nine calories. I'm gonna get 442.8 calories. Then simply I'm gonna add those two calories up, so my protein and my fat, and I'm gonna take that and subtract that from my total calories and that'll be, that'll get me how much carbs. So if you guys can see here, what it is, is I'm gonna take 100, uh, 1,968 calories minus from my addition of protein and fats, and that gives me 1,033.2 calories. Now I'm gonna divide that by four calories because every gram of carb is four calories. That gives me a total of 258 grams of carbs. So, Final thing, final maintenance calories, final maintenance macros is going to be um, 258 grams of carbs, 123 grams of protein, and 49.2 grams of fat. So that's where I'm at. And yeah, so I'm excited to start this journey. Really want to get back into shape. And also, I feel much better that way. And when I feel better, I just do everything better. Life's better. Everything's better. Um, I really, truly believe that. So. If you guys look here, this is the difference now between the maintenance calories and the recomp calories. In order for me to get the maintenance calories at that level, I have to first start getting into the recomp calories. And in order for to do that, I have to actually start getting into the multiplier 16, which ideally I'm technically at this stage also. So I am taking like three, four, almost five steps back so that I can take one step forward, meaning being back into a really good shape and hopefully out of maintenance. And then from there, I can decide from my composition if I wanna, you know, maybe put on some more weight, if I wanna lean back a little bit, who knows, maybe even jump into a show or get ready for a photo shoot or something like that. So that's where it's at. Mm -hmm. All right guys, so something else that I've been working on during COVID, um, and it's been long overdue is I created my whole new website. Finally, it's been over like five, six years. Um, so new website is up, check it out, sixpackchef.com. And honestly, besides like, you know, you can go here, check out if you wanna work with me for all these kind of things. But the one thing I really wanna show you guys is this actually. So I'm really stoked for it. And a lot of people ask me is, I am actually gonna be doing cooking classes online and it's called On The Line. Um, but yeah, so feel free to check it out. These are some of the recipes that I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, these are all based on a weekly basis and you can go into it. Like for instance, you've got this one here, which we're doing like a Thai larb with sticky rice and then Namprick sauce and lettuce cups. But what you get is I'm gonna be sending you guys like pre ahead of time, you guys can get, um, you guys will get the ingredient list, the recipe list. You guys are gonna get also, um, the equipment and the groceries so you guys are gonna be ready it's gonna be on zoom it's gonna be me you at your kitchen my kitchen we're gonna learn how to make some tasty food but yeah go check that out whoa i didn't know that that happened but yes all right guys so i had to change up the scenery because i am about to cook i am starving i um did some cardio before i recorded this so um, I need to eat because I need to get on this diet. I need to get back onto shape I'm trying to stay accountable So I'm gonna end this first episode or first episode first episode I guess of this work vlog and yeah, please let me know if there's anything you guys want to see I'm gonna try to be as transparent as I can with you guys and show you everything from my chef life from this fitness and health journey to also, you know, my business and my career and just life in general. So until then, thank you guys for watching. Peace out, YouTube. All right, guys, so today is Thursday, July 9th. Um, the last, uh, what do you call it? The last update or the last video I did was the, uh, July 1st, I took my weight. July 2nd, I did that little update, um, talked to you guys about, and it's been so much happening that um, I'm a little slacking on this vlog uh, first one, so apologize. And the reason for it is because I've been launching a bunch of things that I'm learning because I'm not, uh, they're all new to me, you know? So the website, I talked about it. Um, I talked about um, the new cooking classes. So I'm learning how to, you know, show up the emails and put up the classes and accept payments, all that kind of stuff. And then I also started a podcast, um, by the way, which is what I'm setting up right now to do, about to get another, um, another guest on, which I'm stoked. So it's serving up podcasts, so that's coming up. But yeah, I've just been really busy and I wanted to share with you guys that 
sometimes as much as I had a schedule of when I wanted to put this vlog out, um, it didn't happen, but we're getting it done. So anyways, check it out. Shout out Asian Squad Social Club, my guy Ty, the whole crew at Asians Never Die. Um, but yeah, so podcast is going on. It's called Serving It Up. You guys can find that on all the um, all your streaming platforms, your Spotify, your Apple on, on this YouTube channel. But anyways, guys, just wanted to say I'm sorry it took so long and I'm sorry if this vlog went a little longer, but this is it. It's work. Let's go.